Hey guys, today we're gonna to look at Audio8 Pro and its ability to use MIDI commands to talk to applications like GoButton. Uh, MIDI is super powerful and we prefer to use it. In fact, if you select the preset Go button, it's gonna be using MIDI. Now let's talk about how to get GoButton set up so you can use MIDI to control your show. So you would go under the Go button preferences and go to configure remote control now you're going to add a new profile by clicking the plus button here. Now you can click on my remote profile. Now you're not going to be able to enter in any keyboard because the audio ape is plugged into it and it acts as a keyboard. But once you disconnect that, then you can label it whatever you want. We're going to call it audio ape pro. And then once that is done, then you can reconnect your audio ape unit and gain control again. And that's just because this shows up as a keyboard, and so it thinks it doesn't need a keyboard here. So anyway, let's move on to MIDI and go to Add MIDI Controls. Um, you actually need to have this set to listen on any channel, which I do believe by default it is there. Make sure that's unchecked again. By default, it's set up that way. And all you have to do is just click on what button you want to do. So let's click on the center button, and that actually is the center button control. It actually is a note on, and this is the value that doesn't really, it's not really important. What's important is as you click these buttons, they're gonna show you the MIDI value. You don't need to know much about how this works. All you need to know is when you click the center button and this lights up yellow, you go ahead and click on that and you assign it what command you want. So center button, most people would want go. So let's look at the other commands, volume down, so we can assign that to do dim toggle volume uh, up or down, down master volume. And then we can go ahead and click on up. This will toggle the master volume up. You can assign these to do whatever you want, but I'm just using what would be the logical things that we want these to do. So rewind, let's go ahead and assign that to do um, select previous cue. And then the last one we're gonna do is fast forward, which would be select next cue. Now you have the remote pretty much configured the way you want it. Uh, you can add a couple other buttons, like all these buttons rather than click, you can actually hold them too. So let me do a couple extra. Hold the center button, that's gonna give you a command, and I'm gonna map that to panic the show. Okay, so panic all cues. Then let's do one more, uh, hold down, uh, volume down, and let's just do that as an automatic mute. So that'll mute the volume, I believe. Uh, volume mute would be, I'm not sure where that is, toggle mute, there you go. So now you have, this button is volume up, volume down, volume up, go forward, backwards, forward, panic when you hold this, and when you hold this, it'll mute the show. Now, this is something very important. Once you create the profile, you have to activate it. Right now, the default is active with that green symbol right there. So to activate it, you just scroll over to the side and hit activate. Now, that is activated, the profile we just created, and you can go into your show, and now you can see that this is now communicating and using the volume controls and mute and anything else that you assigned it to do. Um, and now works using MIDI. The great thing about MIDI is no matter what, like let's say the Q3 is up and ready to go, even if I'm not having the app in focus, even if I have another app in focus, if I push the button, it doesn't matter. That Q will get triggered. MIDI is listening no matter what you're doing on the iPad, which is super powerful. I hope you guys use MIDI controls when using GoButton, and we will see you at showtime.